In this final segment of the video, we're going to cover simple troubleshooting hints. And we're going to start with the fluid section. When you start up the pump, and the pump seems to be stroking and you're not getting any material, that could be one of two things. It could be a stuck ball, and if the ball is stuck closed, you can't draw material up into the fluid section. Or it could be the siphon assembly isn't tight. So what we look for is to make sure the siphon assembly is tight, and if that doesn't solve the problem, you'll want to loosen the siphon assembly Use our pen wrench, push up and check and make sure that the lower ball check assembly is free. Also, once you've checked those items out and it's still stroking and you're not getting material up through the pump, there's an upper pump rod ball check assembly. You might need to refer to the owner's manual, break down the fluid section, and get in there and check the upper ball check assembly. Now, if the pump is building up pressure and strokes up, builds up pressure, and stalls, but you're still not getting material through. Things to look for first is the tip, is the tip plug. You want to remove the tip off the system. Go to your solder container, pull the trigger on the gun, and see if you get any material through the gun. If you get material through there, that tells you it's a plug tip, you need to clean the tip. If you do this process and you still get no material through the pump, even though it's building it's up to pressure, you're going to want to check and loosen the hose assembly and see if you get any material through the hose assembly. And remember, when you loosen this hose assembly, you want to cover it with a rag and loosen it very slowly so that if there's any pressure in there is released. If you get material through the hose, then the thing you might look for is within the gun itself is the, is the filter. And if the filter's plugged, if the filter's totally plugged, then that can cause fluid flow to diminish or no fluid flow at all. Second and third of all, what we're going to look at is if you're getting, if it's building up pressure and you're not getting material through the hose here, then you want to loosen it at the pump. And once again, you want to loosen this very slowly so the pressure is relieved. And then see if you're getting material through the fluid section out the fluid outlet. If you are getting fluid out the fluid section out of the outlet, then you could have a plug in the hose and it's time to try a new hose. Okay, another thing to look for is, is once you put air to the system and you turn your regulator up and you're not getting any pressure to the pump or the pump's not stroking at all, you always want to double check and make sure you've got the valve open, the, the main air inlet to the pump. If that's closed off, you can't get air to the air motor to push the fluid section so you get material through it. Another aspect is, is when you're spraying and the type of pattern that you're getting. If you're getting a large wink in the pattern with the tip on, there's a couple of things that could cause that. One would be is if your siphon assembly is not tight and you're drawing air in. Second would be is if one of the ball checks is not closing off. There's a piece of material on the seat that's keeping it from closing off. Third thing could be that the filter that's in the gun is getting plugged. What you look for in that is you undo the bottom nut of the filter assembly and you just pull the filter assembly like this. And it is cleanable and reusable, so you want to put it in solvent, clean it really well, and then replace it back into the system. If you're still having leaking problems or the pattern still looks distorted, it might be a plugged tip, but a partially plugged tip instead of fully plugged. So you want to double check the tip again to make sure it's clean and that usually you can see through the tip. Look, if none of these troubleshooting tips seem to help your problem, I want you to feel free to call your distributor who you purchased your pump through or call CA Technologies for more information.